Let's talk about the real economy. In 2020, during the pandemic, I told you guys what was going to happen when we gave people this enhanced unemployment of 600 bucks per week on top of the regular unemployment. You had people who were at home who were making more money than they ever made in their life. And then we had this great thing with remote work. We had this situation where we had a lot of people working from home. They were not technical people. They were not engineers. They were not data processors. They were normal people, normal, regular people working at home. And this has manifested because this didn't go on for a month or two or three or four or five. This went on for a few years. And now we have a situation where the government isn't putting out this free money and the real economy is ha starting to take place. I made an effort because I, I've been watching the real estate market for a minute and homes are starting to sit on the market, but prices are not going down because there's a lot of people out there who got a good home at a great mortgage rate and they're scared to sell their house. They're like, I'm not going to sell my house. I could sell my house and come off this 2.3% mortgage rate when I bought my house, when it was cheaper and I got a, and I'm going to sell my house and go out here into this market where I will have to buy a more expensive house and have a higher rate. So I don't really see there's going to be a real estate crash. Uh, literally, I've been looking for a house and I've been seeing this. I've been seeing million dollar houses come on the market Sunday and by Friday they're under contract. And I talked to my real estate agent and this is something that she Brought, brought to me and I feel you guys need to know this. A lot of people are paying cash for these houses so they're not worried about an interest rate. They're not worried about an interest rate. And this is part of the real economy. Um, you know, someone left a comment. Are we going to let people start, uh, starve and be homeless? Absolutely. People will starve. People will go homeless. Absolutely. Right now, there was an article talking about and like, don't be putting in the comments like, could you show me to the article? No, take your silly ass to Google and Google the article if you want the additional information. I'm not your hand servant. You know, I'm, I'm just y'all be killing me. It's like, what's the title of this music? What's the title? Like, stop being so damn lazy because you're going to be part of of the people who are going to starve. You're going to be part of the people who are going to go homeless because you don't know how to do work. And once again, this is why, and I'm going to say this, that the intervention where the government spent $6 trillion into the economy has created an environment where people are weak and people don't know how to work. Because let's go back to the Great Depression, 25 percent unemployment. People were starving. People were going homeless. People will starve. You know, because they're just coming. We're going to let people let let. Sir, <laughs> you don't understand. We live in the United States of America. We let people become millionaires. We let people, because see, let, let's go ahead and get rid of this word. Let people starve and go homeless. Uh, do you think that someone owes you a house? Do you think someone owes you food? That's a weak, sad mindset. Extremely weak, extremely sad. And the people who think like that, you will be the people who will be starving. You will be the people who will go homeless. Another article. Go to Google. The number of elderly people who are going homeless. Now, let's talk about this. You got your, your mom and dad. You got your uncle Jed. Your Aunt Jane. They're going homeless. Because the real economy ain't playing with people. If you... 
having done the things that you needed to do to set yourself up for your future life, the economy doesn't care. People do not care. The number of people who will go homeless is going to dramatically increase. The number of people who will be starving will be dramatically increase. The number of women who will become hoes will dramatically increase. The number of women who are going to OnlyFans is going off at an alarming rate. The number of women who are being uh, sugar babies is dramatically up. You want to know why? Because it's hard out here. And, you know, one of the things that I've been doing for 15 years is screaming, saying, you need to start a business. I've been saying that for the last 15 years. And a lot of you have been coming to the channel for anything but I don't want to start a business. I don't want to work that hard. I don't want to manage nothing. I just want to sit here and chill. And you're going to be one of the people who are going to be starving because this new economy. Let's go ahead and talk about what's happening. Artificial intelligence is getting rid of so many people. Artificial intelligence is going to raid so many jobs. And someone put a comment that, hey, I'm just fine because I'm doing remote work. Let's go ahead and talk about remote work, real remote work. We're not talking about customer service jobs. We're not talking about because a lot of folks got pushed into a home environment because we were during the pandemic. These were not special. These were not exaggerated. These were these were just regular old people who got pushed into working from home because of the economy and the pandemic. They were not specialists. As someone who has worked out from home for the last 15 years and made millions of dollars, you got to have the skills. And this is one of the things this the, the real America. If you don't have the skills, they don't care. It doesn't care. So a lot of you got used to big daddy government. A lot of you got used to getting a check for sitting at home playing video games, smoking weed, having sex, and not being productive people. And you will be the people who will be homeless. You will be the people who will be living in your van. Because here's the thing. I know that there are many YouTube channels saying we're going to have this massive real estate crash. I'm here to tell you it ain't coming. What's going to happen is we're going to have a lot of people and I'm, because the price of houses are going to continue to go up. They're going to continue to go up. We're not going to have a crash. And what's you're going to find if you're one of these people who doesn't have the right skills. Once again, it's all about the skill sets. You will be starving. You will be homeless and no one's going to care. Got a question. You saw a homeless person on the street. Did you how often did you think about that homeless person? You saw this homeless person, this homeless man, this homeless woman on the street. How much did you think about them? I'll be honest. When I see them, I think about them for about as long as I see them. That's how long I think about them. After I don't see them, I don't think about them no more. And that's going to be you. You're going to be that person that society is going to casually disregard. You're going to be that person that society is just going to say, hmm. Because you're homeless. We live in the United States of America, the most expensive country in the world to live in. And many of you haven't governed yourselves accordingly. Many of you have not gotten any special skills. Many of you haven't done the things you need to do. Many of you are just out here living life, breathing oxygen, and you're about to be evicted. You're about to be one of these homeless people because right now, there's a ton of high skilled jobs that cannot find people because people do not have the skills to do these jobs. Friend of mine, son just graduated from Georgia Tech, went into Apple, 21 years old, $200,000 a year job because he has the skills. He interned with Apple. He interned with some other companies, but Apple made him a good offer and he chose to the offer and he's working at Apple 21 years old, making 200 K uh, in this man's lot, young lifetime. He's probably going to get to a salary of a million dollars. Uh, 
Is this man going to be homeless? No. Is this man not going to have a house? No. This man is going to be driving what he wants to drive, living where he wants to live, living the best life because he has the skills. But yes, someone put this question. We're going to let people be homeless? Absolutely. Absolutely. And if you're someone that isn't working on your skills, working on stacking up your skill sets, welcome to the streets. Welcome to the streets, because this, this is what's coming. This is what's going to happen, because essentially we have we're going to have um, the people in America who are going to be doing OK. And the people in America are not going to be doing OK. The middle class, I would say in 30 to 40 years, is going to completely disappear. It would be either you got it or you don't. That's we're going to have either you have it or you don't or you closely affiliated to someone who has it or you don't. But, but yeah, we're going to have people starving in the streets. We're going to have people struggling. We're going to have people out here stealing. Um, other day, there was a girl who was selling a Mercedes Benz AMG GT and the guy was loading it on the truck. And he left the keys in the car and he left it on the street and he walked to his truck in 10 seconds. Two people jumped in the car and drove it off. Crime is going to be stupid. Crime is going through the roof. All types of crime at the moment. Uh, I've noticed when I log in all my stuff that everyone has stepped up their security protocols because People are going to do whatever they need to do to get some money. They're going to do whatever they need to do. And once again, if you're one of these people who's stuck in the government, big daddy government, la la land. That, oh, the government going to take care of me. The government, the government ain't going to take care of you. You're going to be one of these people who's going to be homeless and starving. Notice the number of how to construct a van videos on YouTube, how well these videos do, because instead of actually going out getting the skills teaching yourself how to do something people want to descend right now there's a number of people making these videos on tiktok where they're, i'm tired of working 40 hours it just the check just barely makes it the great depression happened recessions happened we had the grass people didn't complain they started seeking solutions but the vast majority of these people on tiktok they're not trying to find a solution they just want to you know back in the day there was this conversation about getting in an argument with your woman and you know the man would try to solve it and the woman would get upset because she wanted to be heard a lot of people are acting like that woman they just want to vent and rim and they want to be heard they don't want a solution and what you're going to see in the next 10 years of America is going to get very, very harsh. It's going to be extremely, extremely rough for those people who don't have the skills. So, yeah, we're going to let people starve. We're going to let people be homeless. You want to know why? It's already happening. People are already going to be. Y'all are cracking me up with this. We just going to let people starve. We need to break down the prices of houses. We, Your people are foolish. You're 100% foolish if you think the price of a house is going to come down to fit your broke ass. The economy is going to hell. That's all it is. And either you're going to be a devil or you're going to be starving and homeless.